three-stage dream business manifestation framework for six-figure revenue. Here is my three-step process for manifesting your six-figure plus business and the process that I myself used and still use to get my own business to six figures. It's actually much more complicated to manifest business success than it is to manifest anything else in your life. And the reason that business is more complicated than other types of manifestation is because there are always going to be at least two people involved in the process and two different outcomes that those two people are looking for. The reason why businesses exist is to exchange something of value. So you provide something that people want and they provide something that you want, which is money. So you have to take into account your own desires, which is to make money and also fulfill other people's desires to get what they want at a price that's right for them. Today, you will discover the three stages of manifesting your dream business and an overview of the manifestation process that I personally have used to get to six figures. So here are the three steps that you need to focus on to manifest business success. So step one is yourself. The first step in manifesting business is to take a good look at yourself as the business owner. Although this is the first step in the process, this step is usually looked at last or in most cases not at all by most business owners. So why is focusing on yourself crucial for manifesting business success? As the business owner, you bring your own energy into the business. So the business will succeed or fail based on your energy. So it's crucial to get this step right. As a business owner, the most important thing you need to master is belief. You need to be able to believe in yourself, in your business and in your ability to make money. When you have a strong belief that you are going to be successful in business, everything else will fall into place. And with that strong belief, you'll notice other skills that need improving, such as confidence in your own abilities, confidence in the product that you're selling and confidence in the price that you are charging and the value that you're providing. With a strong belief, you'll naturally become a better communicator and will feel drawn to share your product with more people and be enthusiastic while you do it. With a strong belief in yourself and your business, you'll naturally develop more resilience and be committed to your business, which are also essential skills that all business owners need to have. So we've established that having a core belief in your own success is fundamental to the success of the business. So how do you improve this belief system if you're struggling to believe in your success at the moment? You develop your belief system in two ways. Number one, by removing any past programming that is blocking your success. And you do this by taking a good look at where your existing beliefs have come from and be willing to release them. This is a step that most people avoid because business owners by nature prefer to move forward, not look at their past. But this is something that has the ability to change everything for your business and your whole life. So it's really worth putting in the effort to changing this past programming. And the second way in which you can develop your belief system is by deciding what new beliefs you want to believe and repeating them in your mind until they are absorbed by your subconscious mind. And you can do this by using brain stamps, which is repeating the positive statements, the things you want to believe over and over again. You can say them, you can write them, you can think them and feel them. Step number two in the three stage dream business manifestation framework is your business. So this step is focused on your business. The primary focus for your business is offering something for sale that someone else wants. So this is where the actual work comes in. You can't manifest business success without taking action and creating something for sale. But before you start to take action, you have to know what action to take. And I've already mentioned that two parties are involved in the process of doing business, the business owner and the customer, but actually there are three parties involved in the process of doing business. 
The third party involved in the process of business manifestation is God or the universe. So God acts as the bridge between the customer and the business owner. God communicates with both parties and draws them together. So how does God communicate? God communicates through your intuition. The intuitive business owner will feel guided towards creating something particular for sale. And sometimes this guidance comes through a process of market research. And sometimes this is just simply a hunch that seems crazy to everyone else. If business owners only ever created products that customers have specifically asked for, then most products in the world never would have been invented. So take Henry Ford, for example. Henry Ford invented cars. He was famous for saying, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Because obviously they're not going to say cars because cars had never been invented. So they didn't know what they wanted. He felt led to create something completely brand new that the world could never even have imagined. And he totally followed his intuition and changed the world in the process. And as business owners, we have to think outside the box and be willing to be led by our intuition. God or the universe will tell us what customers actually need if we take the time to listen. Then God will also prompt people to come and buy our products only if it solves their problems. So that doesn't mean that you can create a product and just wait on the principle of if I build it, they will come. You still have to take action to share your product. But it does mean that when you do share it, God will give you a helping hand and prompt people to look at it. And this is how we manifest business success by following our intuition. Step three in the process of manifesting business success is concerned with manifesting money. Now, manifesting money for businesses is not always as straightforward as people might first think. When you are manifesting money, there are actually two places that you want to manifest money money for. Number one, you want to manifest money for yourself personally. You need to know that your needs are taken care of and you have more than enough to meet your own personal desires. This is your personal income. And the second place that you want to manifest money for is for your business. Your business is its own entity. So think of your business like its own person. It also has its own separate bills that need to be paid and its own desires and needs for growth and also investment. So when you're manifesting money, you have to be clear whether this is money for you personally or money for your business. Your own personal income can come from your business, but equally it doesn't have to. So it's crucial to separate these two different areas of money manifestation. If you have a desire for great wealth, you have to be open to the fact that your current business idea may not be the vehicle that gets you there. It might be another business idea. It could be some other way that the money gets to you and not necessarily through your business. And that doesn't mean to say that you give up on your business, but it might not be the vehicle that gets you the money that you personally want. And equally, you have to be open to the fact that your current business may do extremely well and that money is not your money. You can pay yourself a salary from your business, but you can't see your business revenue as your own personal money. The revenue belongs to the business and you have to put the needs of your business first when it comes to running the business. You need to see yourself as a staff member. And yes, staff have to be paid, so the business needs to generate enough money to pay its staff. But after that, the revenue has to be invested back into the business to fulfill the needs of the business. So I am just curious, have you ever tried to manifest results for your business? Have you tried all of the business strategies and nothing is working for you? Or maybe you've tried manifestation before and you couldn't get that working for you. And I've been there myself at a point in my journey where I was fed up, overworked and business strategies and manifestation techniques just weren't working for me. And after a lot of experimentation and some soul searching, I finally discovered where I'd been going wrong. 
I have shared my three-step system for manifesting more revenue, more customers, more ease and flow while doing work that you adore, working the number of hours you choose, all without hustling or striving in my signature course called Dream Business Manifestation. And I take you on a 30-day journey from manifesting being the person you want to be to manifesting your dream business and then finally manifesting the money that you desire to make. And you can learn more about that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifest. Or you can also click the links surrounding this content piece. And make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success. I will also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived and I give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my Double Your Revenue Masterclass. And if you've tried all of the strategies to grow your revenue and it's still not increasing, this free masterclass will help you easily get to the next level. I am sharing three extremely powerful manifestation techniques to help you manifest your first sale and double your revenue. This free masterclass is part of my Dream Business Manifestation course, so you can grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash double. Now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.